saluting you. How great is that? That's uh, Antarctica. You know, you say things, it's, it's true. In Washington, D.C., you say things on the radio. If you're wrong about something, if you if you use the wrong word, if you, you, you hear about it. Because there's somebody, I've never been to Antarctica. I, uh, I would love to go to Antarctica. Yes, I've been to every continent, but Antarctica, I've always wanted to go to Antarctica. And, um, uh, you know, just, just ring a bell in Washington, D.C., and there's a, you know, who's done Halo? If drugs were legalized, the entire structure of needing to get a prescription would be washed away, and in the pharmaceutical industry would, um, would you know, lose incredible amounts of uh, revenue. But that's it's certainly part of the control. picture. Now that, that's part of the picture, Gary. Uh, and the other part of it is you have a, um, a prison system that is traded, publicly yeah. traded on the stock exchange, and yeah. you've got to fill those jail cells. I'm not sure what the numbers are, but the, the, the percentage uh, of, of inmates uh, that are related to drug offenses, it, it's got to be over 70%, I'm thinking. So you go one, one past that and also add into it, it's almost like the uh, military industrial complex that I've never talked about, but it's, a, it's the illegal pharmaceutical law enforcement, because think about the court system. You know, a lot of, I mean, there's a huge constituency there, the status quo. Uh, every time some nonviolent drug offender comes into a courtroom, you got the judge paying in $189,000 a year, you've got, you've got, you've got, you've got the got the you've got the you got the uh, judge's assistants, you got the uh, um, prosecutor, you got the uh, public defender, all these people are sitting there stuffing at the, at the public trial, making huge salaries to put some, some poor stuff that got caught with, with some, you know, even, even quantity that's just a usual quantity, putting him in that jail, when it was caught up the court system, and now you got these violent criminals that continue to get delayed either in their trial or their sentencing, go out and commit new crimes on bail. I mean, the whole, you know, you're exactly right. It's a constituency, it's a status quo that, that wants to see things so just the way they are. Gary, how, but how do you see this working out? Listen, I, uh, when it comes to marijuana, uh, certainly medical marijuana, I, I think it should be left to the states uh, to decide, and I think, uh, you know, when we, when we look at some of the studies involving uh, uh, children having uh, epileptic seizures, multiple seizures, and, uh, and, and cannabis seems to have some effect on that, cannabis oil, there's still a lot of research to be done in terms of, uh, of cancer. Uh, that's one thing. But, and I don't need, uh, I don't need a law uh, against heroin to prevent me from shooting up. And, and I think most reasonable people, you know, the same deal. Uh, 